This is a dust removal and restoration tutorial for screen protectors from Green Onion Supply. Warning! These techniques may damage your screen or screen protector if performed improperly. Any property damage caused by the misuse of these techniques is not covered by any warranty or guarantee. The first method is basic dust removal. It's useful for smaller patches of dust or fibers that you need to get out from underneath your protector. Step 1. Attach a small piece of tape to the corner of your screen nearest the dirty area. Now, take a wide piece of cellophane tape a few inches long. Hold it between your thumb and forefingers with the sticky side on the outside of the U-shape that it forms, as seen in this photo. Use the small tab of tape in the corner to lift the screen protector off the screen, and use the piece of tape in your other hand to clean it. The tape should grab any dust or fibers off of the glue of the screen protector without damaging it. Use the pinching method depicted here. Spread your fingers when grabbing the dust, and then pinch them together when pulling away. Repeat this with the entire side of the screen protector, with any portions that are dirty or dusty. Once you are done with the first side, you can let the protector reattach and move on to the other side if necessary. Once your protector is entirely free of dust, use your microfiber cloth to push out any air bubbles and clean off any smudges. The second method of dust removal is a way to remove significant amounts of dust in one swoop or to prepare a dirty protector for reinstallation. First off, remove the screen protector from the screen or take it out from storage. As before, you use a small piece of tape in the corner to lift it off of the screen. Place the protector on the table with the sticky side facing up so that it does not grab any of the dust on the table surface and does not stick to the table. Now, take your wide cellophane tape. Lay a strip of it along the screen protector's top edge. This is the side that will attach to the top of the screen when you do decide to reinstall it. Make sure that it is long enough to cover the entire edge. It is better to be slightly over the screen protector's margins than too short. As you do this, make sure to push out any air bubbles that form. Next, add a second strip of tape that slightly overlaps the first. This will help you remove all of the tape in one motion during installation. As before, it's better to go slightly over the margins of the screen protector than under them. Continue to add strips until the entire screen protector is covered. This will also help clean all of the screen protector before attachment. Now, peel the tape and the screen protector off of the table. The tape should be beyond the margins, as we mentioned, so it should be sticking to the table as well. You can now choose whether you want to store your screen protector as it is, or reinstall it immediately. If you do decide to reinstall it, Remember the steps from our other installation videos. First, clean your screen with a microfiber cloth. Then, peel back the backing to partially expose one of the screen protector's edges. Align this edge with the corresponding part of the screen, and then allow it to attach. Once this is done, you can pull away the backing slowly. The main difference here is that your backing is now replaced by a sticky tape. This stickiness can lead to increased difficulty, so you'll have to make sure to give it extra space and not get it stuck on the screen, as you can see here. If the tape does get stuck to something, try to be very slow and gentle when removing it. Once your screen protector is fully attached, you can check underneath for any remaining dust or fibers. There should only be small patches remaining that can be easily removed using method 1. Then. Push out any air bubbles and clean away any smudges using your microfiber cloth. For more information on our products, please visit our website at www.greenonionsupply.com. You can also find us at Facebook and Twitter.